I'm really happy to see so many people here despite the crazy rain. Um, but I think today is all about being crazy and having fun and going out there and doing your thing and believing in doing your thing, especially when it's making a watch and having fun with it. When I walked into the room and I was given this tray of uh, dials and straps and they were all in so many colors, including the loops. I can't tell you how excited I was. It was like a kid in a candy store. And I think the collection name is also so lovely. It's Watch By You. Um, and I think that's such a nice idea. And I don't think any watch company has done this before. And I'm sure each one of us has gone into a watch store and been like, yeah, but I want that, but I want it with that strap, and I want it with that dial, and can, can I just mix it around? And at least I feel like that sometimes. And every time I pass a Swatch store, I want to run in and look at it, even if I don't want to watch. I just want to go in and look at all the stuff over there. And the designs are amazing, but then to go and make your own design, which is uniquely you, is really special. So here's mine for today, and I'm really happy to launch this new collection. And I hope you'll all have fun with it and be happy being uniquely you. I think it's not going to be difficult at all because if you get a box of crayons and someone tells you go paint on the wall, it's never difficult. It's always a lot of fun. So when you get like all these straps and dials and even these loops. In fact, when I walked into the bloggers meet just now and I saw different loops and I was like, I never got those loops. Why didn't they show them to me? <laughs> because I wanted to use one of them. So I think it's, it's really, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, the problem is the choice. It's like, yes. should I make this or should I make this? Should I wear this or should I buy this or should I buy that? But I think then that's what the fun is all about. And um, I think instinctively you just pick something and you know that's yours. Like today I did that. I just instinctively, my stylist Sanam, um, everything usually goes through her. Um, and it of course went through her. And I was like, no, I'm not listening to you. I'm going to make my own watch. So I made my own watch. So it's like that. Everybody will instinctively do what they want to do. So it's fun. So she's right. It's going to be difficult to make a choice, but you have two wrists. So you have two choices to make at one time. So it's easier. And you can buy one for the month also. <laughs> you could do that. We agree. But this is a great sign. This means you, you're basically sold. So, this is done. <laughs> okay, so maybe let me, let me start by asking your question. And then maybe if you can think of any questions till then in the next two minutes, then maybe. Yeah, great. What's my favorite watch brand? No, no, I will have very happily tell you. Uh, the first watch that I was actually gifted, and I'm not saying this because I'm standing here, was a Swatch actually. It was uh, the one with where you could see the machine, machinery of the watch. And I was really excited, but I wasn't allowed to wear it. So it sat and then I wore it when I could. But that was the first watch that I ever got. And in fact, even now, uh, I have other watches as well. And I have, uh, I mean, quite, quite a few of them. Uh, and I really like watches. And in fact, if you see my spotted pictures, you'll see that I don't wear much. I don't wear earrings every day. I'm not. I'm pretty simply dressed. I'm usually in my track pants and sneakers. But I always have my watch with me, and it's a Swatch. And I'm not saying this because I'm here today. It sounds very lame, but I really mean it. Um, it's a. I in fact asked what that watch is called. It's called the Irony Chronograph. It's a gold metallic gold watch. And I have to tell you a story about three years ago, I was shooting in, um, I can't remember, near Mahabaleshwar or somewhere. And uh, my watch got stolen. And it was the same watch. And I was really upset. <laughs> and I couldn't find it anywhere in India. And I thought, OK, it was a limited edition, and it's gone. And then I was uh, traveling to the US. And uh, in fact, my manager was with me. And I was like, I have to get this watch. I have to get this watch. And what if I don't find it in the US? And then somebody told me there's a watch store at the airport. I ran there. I saw the watch in a broken box. 
And I was like, and she said, but it's broken. Uh, the box is broken. I said, I don't care about the box. There's a watch work. And I bought the watch and I still have it and it's lying in my bag as we speak. I wore the new collection watch, which is why I put that in my bag. But I have it with me all the time. So actually, it is a real favorite of mine. I really, really like it. So, and I'm very happy that uh, Swatch picked me for, for this because uh, I don't have to, um, I don't have to make this up. It's absolutely true. <laughs> So, um, I like Swatch as a brand a lot and I'm actually really happy that they picked me to do this because um, I actually use the brand and I have been using it from the time that I was small um, and like I was saying my first watch was a Swatch and I still use Swatch. I have other watches but I use Swatch a lot. Um, so it's, I'm happy to be here today and also the collection is, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Swatch as a brand is fun, it's very playful, it's quirky, it's unique. Uh, the designs are always unique and they, they bring out like almost 250 designs every year. So I think that's, that's really amazing in terms of like just design. But here is the first time and I don't think any watch company has done this before where you have, um, where you can go in and make your own design that is unique to you and unique to how, what you like and how you feel and how you want your, want your watch to look like. So I think that's really cool and I actually saw that because when they brought in the tray, there was literally, ev you could pick whatever strap you wanted, whatever loop you wanted, whatever dial you wanted, you could just mix and match it and just have fun. How many watches have you? How many watches have you? I don't know, I don't know, maybe about... No, 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 I don't have so many watches. I'm telling you I have watches and I just wear that one swatch that I have. But I have um, maybe about, I don't know, yeah, eight, nine watches, nine, yeah, maybe nine, ten watches. Uh, I would um, actually, you know, somehow, jo weather hai, that is also sad. Uh, the whole city is sad, I think, because um, he was just such a, such a such an amazing actor, uh, such a you know gent a gentleman in the true sense of the word. Uh, every time that I would go to Prithvi Theatre, he would always be there. He would watch all the plays with so much you know interest, um, and he had such a beautiful, gracious, dignified um, vibe about him. I remember meeting him once and it was just, he just the way he looked at you with so much kindness and such a, he, had, he was just so gentle and so amazing and like when he blessed you, you just felt blessed and he was um, just such an amazing person and I think his, um, he was one of those very fearless actors who at the time that he was working backed very different kinds of cinema, was a part of very different kinds of cinema. He was, he was the first person actually, one of the first few peop, few actors who, um, you know, did a lot of non-commercial cinema and backed it and um, acted it in himself, including uh, cinema from across the border, uh, across the, sorry, from uh, uh, from abroad, uh, in uh, English cinema, uh, British cinema. So I think it's, it's really, he's really sort of, He's going to live on in our hearts forever and ever, uh, for sure. But now I think it did postpone it. Sorry, today is Swatch. Today is a day for Swatch. Today is a day for Swatch. There's, a, there's another time that we can discuss this. Yeah, but I, I, today I don't want to speak about it because it's for Swatch. I'm here for Swatch today. So I made this myself, so this is me, it's got a fun striped strap and it's got a flying heart. So I don't know, I just instinctively liked it and I picked it, in fact my stylist picked another strap and another watch for me but I was like no, I want to wear this, this is what I like. So I just made it myself, it's fun. But it's like you know, you give a kid a box of crayons and say, say now you draw on the walls. So. Picking your watch and your dial and your strap and your loop and all is like doing that. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>